let's say you've written a screenplay and you feel that it's a nine out of 10. It's almost there. How would you get it to be a 10? I don't think you ever can, <laughs> at least not in your eyes. I've never done anything that I've said this is a 10 out of 10. There's always things that I see room for improvement. Um, is that a bad answer? <laughs> no, no, that's good. I, and I think some people are hardwired that way. Like nothing is ever, they've got to always tweak things. Absolutely. And I think that makes people great at whatever they do. Absolutely. I, I think you were talking I, about that late. You have to be somewhat OCD, I think. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't even think I've ever done anything that's nine out of 10. I, th I think, uh, I think it, it's this one giant journey to sort of, you know, make that 10 out of 10 project. And I think that's what gives me hope is this constant evolution of wanting to be better and wanting to make your next project even more perfect than the last one. But every time I make one, I do look at it and I say to myself, that is significantly better than the last one, uh, at least more often than not. So I see growth and that's, that's really all I can ask for. I've never actually finished something and been like 10 out of 10. Have you seen other people's work that you're like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10? I've seen other people's work that makes me want to quit the film industry because I don't think I'll ever live up to it. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I remember seeing Inception in theaters and just walking out of the theater and turning to my friend and saying like, I don't even know if I want to like live in LA anymore and make movies because I'm never going to make something like that. Uh, it, it is just that, that to me is just such a wonderful, brilliant movie. Um, so, so yes, I, 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 Martin McDonough is another of my favorites with like screenwriting wise. I just, the dialogue that he writes, I, I, aspire to, to write like that or, or just, you know, think on that level. Um, but there's certainly a lot of people that I, I look up to that I think I don't know if I can ever be that good. So does that make you then want to stop or make you want to rise to their level? I know that sounds so cliche. Sorry. I mean, I, I say that sort of <laughs> facetiously. I, I, I will, ne I'll never stop. Um, but but yeah, it was sort of like a funny, funny, sarcastic joke, you know, and I said that in the movie theater walking out of Inception. Uh, I'll never want to stop, but it's uh, it's this sort of abstract goal to sort of make something that you watch and elicit the same response in yourself that you had when you watched something like Inception. And I don't know if that will ever happen. I think I'm always going to be my harshest critic, but it's definitely something I aspire to do and it's what keeps me going is just that sort of nugget of hope. Well, a lot of times something that inspires people is seeing bad work or even in entrepreneurs, they see some idea and they go, I could do better than that. And why does that person get to do that? I want to do it. And there you go. And there's, there's the trajectory of their career because it was all built on certainly. seeing somebody else do something that they think they failed at. I think that I think that's human to to look at someone else's work and and say, oh, I'm I'm better than that, or or I can I can do that. Why aren't I? You know, why haven't I made it big yet? I I sort of and I and I do that on some level more so from a business perspective because I want to be able to make movies and you know have have a career and actually support myself doing that. So I ask myself, well, why are they getting paid all of this money to do something I know I have the skill set to do? Um, so I don't really, I don't really think in that way creatively as much because, you know, the story that you choose to tell the movie that you make is oftentimes a, a personal choice and, and who's to say one is better than the other. I think what you can judge is sort of the, uh, you know, the, the technicals of it, the, maybe the business of it, you know, why is their movie picked up by Lionsgate and distributed worldwide when mine had all the same shot on the same camera and, you know, has just as much character growth and three act structure format and all of that. <laughs> Do you think it's good to have a little bit of a, a, a chip on the shoulder in terms of having a competitor or, or, or does that not fuel you? I think some people it really fuels them. I think and others, uh, it doesn't. I, I know, I know it, it fuels some people. I know Victoria has, has said that it, it certainly helps to have, have that, I don't want to say chip on your shoulder, but you know, that kind of 
a little bit of ego, you know, like like as though it's a competition. I, I honestly, I, I've never felt any kind of competition. I, I very much felt like I've sort of been on my own journey, sort of growing. And like I said before, I am my harshest critic. So something really isn't good enough until I say it's good enough. And it certainly helps, you know, going to film festivals and having people pat you on the back and say, that was a wonderful movie, like, great job. And it gives me a little bit more confidence. But even if they said that was a terrible movie, I would probably still move along and, you know, make another project regardless. Um, but it, it, it certainly helps. <laughs>